Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video, doing 5D forecast for today's first video. Going to have a detailed look at the weather in the next five days across the British Isles. It's going to be quite a cold and unsettled five days coming up. Stormy tonight, we're going to have heavy rain, heavy snow and gale force winds across parts of the country tonight. So it's all going to be happening uh, in the next few hours. Uh, after that, we're going to sort of where we've got right now, really cold and showery. That takes into the weekend. And then the end of the Friday forecast, period, so sort of sunny to Monday, probably turns quite a lot milder as the Atlantic breaks through, but still unsettled with some rain. So I'll tell you for everything that's going on in a second. Just say websites using full Friday forecasts coming from the weatherout.com and weathercent.d, and you find links to both websites on the links page. We'll start with the radar picture, which showed a bit of a north south split, really. So much of England and Wales have been a fair amount. Of dry weather this morning, particularly down in the south and the southeast. In the north, though, we still have these heavy showers. So, showers are still piling into Scotland. We've still got showers coming through Northern Ireland and some into northern western parts of England as well. Many of these showers are still wintry and still producing snow, especially across Scotland. Now, you see this area of echoes just been to appear on the radar image to the west of Ireland. That is going to be tonight's stormy weather. So, that's a precursor to the very uh, wet, windy, and in places, snowy weather that's coming up uh, tonight. So this is today's Arctic pressure chart. Low pressure is in control generally, and we're still in this cold polar maritime uh, airstream from the northern Atlantic. This kink in the icebergs just here, which is moving in towards Ireland uh, through course this afternoon, that is tonight's area of low pressure. So for the rest of today, we're going to find uh, wintry showers continue in the north and west. Still uh, heavy showers in places, giving accumulations of snow. And not exclusively to high ground either, also down to lower levels, especially across Scotland. Through the course of the afternoon, we'll probably find many of these showers becoming lighter and more uh, scattered. Um, as thicker cloud begins to move in from the west. So Ireland, sort of southwest Scotland, Wales, southwest England is going to turn cloudier through the course of the afternoon. And even across centuries eastern parts of England, where we have had lots of sunshine this morning, it'll probably turn hazy uh, and then eventually cloudy through the course of this afternoon. Winds are quite strong and it's making it feel cold, so temperatures ranging from around, say, 2 to 6 degrees, and it feels colder than that uh, in the wind. Overnight tonight, we're going to find this area of low pressure uh, moving in from the Atlantic. So here we are at midnight with that low pressure heading in through the central part of the country. The strongest winds, we've talked about this in videos recently, strongest winds will be on the southern side of this uh, trough. But to the north of the trough, that's where we've got the cold air and the um, the place where we meet the milder cold air is where we'll get the snow. Through the course of the night, uh, we'll actually find that that low pressure pushes it in towards the North Sea. So this evening will start turning very wet in the west. And then overnight that rain will push northwards and eastwards. As it meets the colder air, it will turn to snow. And that's particularly going to be for southwestern and southern parts of Scotland, down into northern England, possibly as far south as North Wales and the North Midlands. There could be accumulating snow in this, areas, uh, in this area, so anything up to uh, sort of 20 centimetres is possible over highest ground, so sort of the tops of the Pennines and the hills mount to southwest Scotland. On lower ground, probably 5 to 10 centimetres is possible a proper snow event. Down to the south, however, it's going to be mostly rain, so through much of the Midlands, central southern England, we're talking about outbreaks of heavy and persistent rain uh, sweeping across the country, and that's where the strongest winds will be as well. Gusts of wind could reach 50 or 60 miles an hour in some central and eastern parts of England through the course of Thursday, uh, through the course of Wednesday night into the early hours of Thursday morning. Central Northern Scotland will miss the worst of this wet weather. It'll stay mostly dry here, but it'll be cold with widespread frost and a few snow showers. So temperatures tonight ranging from around minus 5 in the far north to around 10 degrees down across Cornwall. A big contrast in temperatures. That low pressure very quickly zips away through the course of tomorrow, leaving us back in this cold run of northwesterly winds, feeding in sunshine and showers. We may start off wet in the east on Thursday morning. There could still be snow left across parts of northeastern England, 
Uh, most of that rain and snow will clear away very quickly through the morning and then sunny spells will return from the west with blustery showers and most showers will start to turn increasingly wintry again across the northern and western parts of the country. The south and southeast will have mostly dry weather with sunny spells. It'll feel cold tomorrow with temperatures ranging from 2 to 7 degrees Celsius. Into Friday, we remain cold with winds from the northwest, feeding in more showers to northern and western parts of the country. So probably starting off with some frost and ice on Friday morning, but many central, southern and east areas will be dry with sunny spells. But in the north and west, we'll have further showers. They'll be wintry as well, with the risk of accumulations of snow over high ground across parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland and northwestern England. Temperatures ranging from just 1 to uh, 6 degrees Celsius. Moving through into Saturday, we're essentially under a little bump of high pressure, but there will be a weather front flirting with the far southwest. Saturday could start with a very hard frost. Temperatures could be underneath minus 5 quite widely across much of the country, but there'll be decent sunny spells away from Wales and southwest England, where I think it'll be cloudier and there might be some outbreaks of rain, sleet, or snow across the far southwest. That should clear away, slip away to our south through the day with brighter skies returning from the north. And essentially, most parts of the country should have a dry day on Saturday with sunny spells. Although it will be a cold day with temperatures barely uh, getting above freezing for many northern parts of the country, just sort of minus one, freezing, plus one, something like that through much of northern Britain. In the south, probably at around four or five degrees in the best of sunshine, but uh, it will be really quite a cold day. However, we get another change as we go through... Saturday night into Sunday, we start to move low pressure back in from off the Atlantic. So Saturday night will probably turn very frosty to begin with anyway, in northern and eastern parts of the country. But in the west, cloud and outbreaks of rain will start to move in from the Atlantic. And then through the night, that cloud and rain will spread eastwards as it meets that colder air. It may well turn to snow across northern and eastern parts of the country. I'm going to firm up on this. There could be some quite significant snow for a time on Saturday night in the north and the east. But it will turn back to rain as milder air starts to push in from the Atlantic. So by the end of the night, the far southwest will actually turn very mild, still probably quite cold in the northeast. And then on Sunday, we'll start off with cloud and outbreaks of rain across much of the country. Still maybe some hill snow left across Scotland and northeast England. But uh, through the day, we'll find brighter skies pushing in from the west except across southern counties where we may actually keep it quite cloudy and wet through much of the day the thing you'll note on sunday as is that it'll be a much milder day with temperatures ranging from around 8 to 13 degrees celsius even feeling, feeling a little bit spring-like down in the southwest and then we end the 5d forecast period on monday in this westerly flow probably have a dry start with some sunny spells but cloud and rain i would suspect will be threatening the west and the southwest by the end of the day temperatures will be mild though ranging from around seven to 11 degrees celsius finally having a look at charts from the weather outlook so it's a cold day today wintry showers in the northwest, mainly dry and sunny in the south. Becoming stormy tonight with heavy rain pushing across central summer parts of the country and heavy snow in the north and in the northeast. And then as we go through into uh, Thursday itself, we're going to find most of this rain and snow clearing away uh, and it turns colder and brighter from the north and the west. Into Friday, it's a case of sunny spells, but still with wintry showers in the north and the west, and then the cold weather lasting into Saturday. Overnight, uh, Saturday into Sunday, we see a band of rain pushing northwards and eastwards. Could well turn to snow in the north and the east through the early hours of Sunday, before eventually it goes back uh, to rain. And then Sunday is a much, much milder day with cloud and showery bursts of rain, particularly so in the south. Sunday, uh, Monday, I should say, also looking mild. Mainly dry start, but more rain returning to the southwest 
later in the day. So, in summary, it's a changeable five-day forecast period coming up. We're starting cold. We're going to have uh, heavy rain, heavy snow and gales tonight. So, it's all happening tonight. Uh, and then, after that, we're into sunny spells or wintry showers through um, Thursday to Saturday. Saturday night brings a band of rain, sleet and snow across the country from the Atlantic. And then we end the five-day forecast period much milder, but still with some rain at times. Come back for uh, today's second video update this afternoon, which will extend out beyond the 5D forecast period. We'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.